Hiya, so um, today I'm going to show you how to use frame by frame to make the stop animation. The first thing you need to do is to download frame by frame off the internet. It's free software. Um, just Google it and you should find it pretty easily. Okay, um, I've stored it in my dock here. So uh, frame by frame looks like this. It looks like a little Lego man. You click that to start up the software. And it looks like this. Uh, as you can see, it's automatically put on the camera, which is on your computer, but we want to change that over to the external camera, which I've connected using a Firewire cable. So you just click up here into DV VCR, and then it switches over to the other camera. There we can see my little cartoon character. Now all you need to do is set up the picture that you want, and then you press spacebar to take a picture, and then you could move the character a little bit, Take the picture again, move the character again, take another picture, and basically you just keep moving the character a little bit, a little bit, until it's done what you want it to do. So all I'm making my character do right now is just walk off the screen, but you can make your character do whatever it is that you want. Okay, so I just continue doing this. Picture is perfect. I'm doing it quickly, but you should take your time to make it better. Okay, once you've done that, you can use this scroll bar at the bottom to go back to the beginning. And if I click on the first picture and then press play, I can watch what I've made so far. So watch that again. Now, as you can see, that happens quite fast. That's 15 frames per second. If you were filming using a video camera, then you would do 26 frames per second. So this is less than a video camera. But for doing stop animation, that's a lot of pictures you're going to have to take. So I'm just going to do less frames per second and then watch it again. Okay, so that's more of the speed that I want to have it and I'm quite happy with that. If there were any clips that you didn't like, so maybe I, I don't like this last one here, you just click on it and then click scissors and it will delete it. Or if you wanted to swap around some things, then you could click it, drag it, and then you can move it to somewhere else in the timeline but I don't want to do that so I'm going to move it back there okay this little thing here it means that the picture you can see in this screen is half of the picture you can see now and half of the picture from before so if I move this over to the left we can see the last picture I took on the screen here and as I move it over to the right we can see what the camera can see now so if you can see there's a character here who's in this clip and then as I move it over to the right, we can see what the camera can see. The reason we use half and half is so that you can see the frame underneath. So if you move the camera or just basically so you can see how far you've moved it from the last shot. Okay, once you've made your cartoon and you're happy with it, um, then you need to export your film. So you go up to File, Export, and you call it whatever you want. Uh, Hello dude, and I'm going to save it onto the desktop, export, and then I'm going to pick for it to be in animation, I'm not really sure what those other types are for right now, and you click OK, and then it will export your film, then we'll come out of frame by frame, uh, don't save, you should, you should save your work though, and then here we have my film that I've just made, and if you press play, then we can see the film you've created. And that's all you have to do. And then this movie, you could, if you wanted, then put it into an editing software if you wanted to add some sound or credits or anything like that. And that's as easy as that. Enjoy. I hope you enjoy frame by frame.